Oh, you know, the, the buzz about when you say little projects now, that could be little scale or little budget or, or whatever. If, if someone wants me or us, should I say, someone's base to design their dog house for their beloved Smoodle and they're happy with the fee and, and it's a thousand dollars and they're happy, that's gold. It's a designer dog house. The dog's happy, the life's happy. And, you, and that goes from that level all the way, you know. And I think that is, um, in part, you know, that, that joy of taking someone's brief and their budget and delivering it in a form that they could never imagine and they're happy with it, you feel like you've actually um, assisted their pathway. And it sounds, a, I don't know, it sounds, can sound a bit weird, but when you buy into that notion and then you sit there and you create a home or a place or a space or, or whatever it is for someone and at the end of it, they actually go, holy shit, that really resonated with everything we wanted. We feel like we're living better, we are better people, we love it and you just go, wow, and, and all I did was design your home, but it's more than that, you know, like it's a, I don't know, we, we take it pretty serious, you know, we don't, we don't turn projects away because we don't, we might not think that sits out, fits our, you know, our look or our ethos or whatever, we'll do anything for anyone if they're genuine about why they want to do it and, and you can genuinely see a, a cool outcome from it as well, um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I find what I do isn't a job. And that and I both say the same, you know, we're, we're, we're in the industry and it's a joy to do what we do. As corny as that may sound, and I speak to mates that are teachers and that, they're just kind of a little bit like, I don't get it. That's fine, I, you know, I understand that you might not, um, might not get what we do. It's sometimes hard to explain. As long as the budget meets the brief and, and you're talking about two elements that can come together and go, yeah, that can work. If there's too much disparity, we need to, you need to talk about that and we either need to manipulate down and they need to manipulate up or whatever it's going to be. But as soon as you reach that bit where the cog joins, it actually is really fun and exciting and you can deliver what, hopefully, what, what the client wants. Um, but you're right, the passion side of it is, um, it's quite phenomenal, you know, you, people go, oh, you know, I've got a full-time job, I work 40 hours a week. The amount of times we, as architects, think about what we're doing is immeasurable, but it just becomes the way you, I don't know, the way your mind clicks, you know, like I've got a lot of other passions in sport and golf and art and all sorts of things, but you're just constantly thinking, you know, there are some days you get home and you just mentally kind of, drained and it's a good really good drained feeling you like I feel like I just accomplished so much today I've spoken to a lot of people I feel like I've had a um, a part in there what they're thinking and it's funny you know over the past probably six months I've had a few oh, like acquaintances and relatives and so forth that have passed and you start thinking what uh, you know approaching 50 and it's still you know still hopefully got 40 years to go but you go, if you did pass, you know, what are people gonna, what would you like people to think, not of you, but what was your, not, what was your legacy? What was your thing that people go, oh, that, he, he thought about those sort of things. And I think in, from an architectural point of view, if, if you could just literally go down in history and say, oh, he, he listened to what I wanted. You know, I had a meeting today with a client who they, we started talking about the, what we put forward and they'd gone away for a couple of weeks and they'd come back and got some comments and amendments. It started with a few little door swings and dummy things and then it was like, oh, we, we feel like we want to bring the house forward about 10 metres. I'm like, that's a great idea because what you've just said makes sense. He goes, oh my God, I thought you'd get, I thought you'd get all really, um, uh, you know, pretentious about it. I'm like, it's your house. And I think the rationale about why you're doing it is perfect. Like, You've just got to have that conversation. And as soon as you meet that trust and confidence level with people, it's really powerful. Because sometimes you've got to work pretty hard to get that trust. And I don't know what it is, whether there's, uh, you know, everyone goes through different things, but as soon as you get someone's trust in what you do, it's gold, I think.